For the last six weeks, this beast has been roaming my lawn, and I've got to say I'm impressed. This is the Lima One, a new robotic lawnmower that has been making some serious waves. In this video, I'm going to take you through my experiences with it, from the initial setup to the app, to the quality of the cut, and my final verdict. Is this the robot mower you've been waiting for? Well, let's find out. So what do you do when you open up the Lima One? Inside the box you'll find the mower itself, the charging station and the RTK antenna. The first thing you'll notice about the Lima One is its build. This isn't a flimsy plastic toy, it's a solid piece of equipment with an aluminium alloy frame and some serious looking tracks instead of wheels. It gives you the immediate impression that this thing is built to last. The setup is surprisingly straightforward, especially if you're used to the hassle of boundary wires. The Lima One is wire free, which is a huge plus. You'll need to set up the charging station and the RTK antenna, which helps the mower navigate. And the user manual is clear. There are some helpful videos online if you get stuck. But once that's done, you download the Lima One app and you're ready to create your first map. The app is your command center for the Lima One. This is where you'll create the virtual boundaries for your lawn. You basically drive the mower around, around the perimeter of your lawn using the app's joystick, and that's it. You can create multiple zones, set no-go zones for things like flower beds or play areas, and even create channels for the mower to travel between different areas of your lawn. The app is also where you'll set your mowing schedule. You can have it mow as often as you like. And one of the keys to have a healthy lawn with a robotic mower is to mow little and often. And the Limo app makes that easy to do. And of course there is some maintenance to do. The charging pads are located at the bottom and it can at times get some grass built up and needs to get cleaned. But other than that, and a bit of sharpening of the blades a couple of times a season, you're pretty much good to go. So, how well does it actually cut? The quality of the cut is excellent. The Lima One has dual rotary mulching blades, which are more like traditional mower blades than the small razor light blades that you find on many other robotic mowers. This means that it can handle thicker, taller grass with ease. The floating deck allows it to follow the contours of your lawn, ensuring an even cut, even on uneven ground. And those tracks I mentioned earlier, they're not just for show. They give the mower incredible traction, allowing it to tackle slopes up to 45 degrees without breaking a sweat. I've been running the Limo One for six weeks now. <clears throat> And my lawn has never looked better. The frequent mowing encourages the grass to grow thicker and healthier, and the mulching feature returns nutrients to the soil. So, what's my verdict with the Lima One? To put it simple, the thing is a beastie boy of a mower. It's powerful, it's efficient, and it delivers a fantastic quality of cut. But what's impressed me just as much as the mower itself is the company behind it. In the six weeks that I've had this mower, there have already been several software updates with new features and improvements. And it's clear that Limo Tech, the company behind the Limo One, is committed to continuously improving the user experience. And on the one occasion I did have a small issue, their customer support was incredibly responsive and helpful. While the Lima One gets a lot right, no piece of technology is perfect. After spending six weeks with it, there are a few potential downsides and considerations that any prospective buyer should be aware of. First, let's talk about the software. The Limo app is powerful, but it's clear that it's still maturing. While the company's frequent updates are a huge positive, it also means that you might encounter the occasional bug or a feature that isn't quite as polished as you'd find it with brands that have been in the market for a decade. The initial mapping pro pro process, for example, <clears throat> can have a bit of a learning curve. It may require a couple of tries to get just right. Another point is the obstacle avoidance for small items. 
Line number one is great at navigating around trees, garden furniture, and people. However, like however, like many robotic mowers, it can struggle with smaller and low profile objects. Things like a dropped garden tool, a child's tour, or a garden hose left on the grass might not be detected and could be run over. This means you still need to do a quick scan of your lawn before letting it run, which slightly diminishes the set it and forget it dream. Finally, there's the consideration of Limo being a newer company. While my own experience with their customer support has been excellent, they don't yet have the long established service network in Europe or Denmark. This could be a factor that down the line when it comes to long term parts availability or out of warranty repairs, it's a trade off that you make, make for getting the latest technology from an innovative new player in the market. So while the Lima One is an incredible machine, these are the realities to keep in mind. It's a premium product with a few few rough edges that are actively being polished with each new update coming. The Lima One has truly changed the game for me when it comes to lawn care. It's a powerful, reliable, and smart robotic mower. And that has exceeded my expectation. Thanks for watching. And please comment if there's any other things you need to see from the Lima One. Mm -hmm.